Hey guys, how you doing? I hope everything is well. Everything is good with me. Y'all, the migrants again. Uh-huh. They are getting closer and closer and closer to... To home. They in my area now. Mm-hmm. I live, like... A block and a half away from Domino Park. Beautiful area. People love Williamsburg. Williamsburg is a good place to live. Like, for real, y'all. We got some fantastic restaurants. You know, you can walk at night. You can, like, you know, go out and dine. That's one thing Williamsburg is known to do. Dining. Mm -hmm. We got it all over here. We got it all. Whatever type of food you want. We have it here. You know what I'm saying? We have it. It's a nice place to go shopping like Saturday. I went there. You know, I may stop at, you know, the little tables or whatever like that to buy me some, you know, shades or, you know, you got Whole Foods over there. You got um, Trader Joe's up the block from Whole Foods. You got a lot of dining. They got this restaurant, y'all, this taco place, man. Nice. They got beer, beer kegs outside. And you you bring your tacos, but no sitting, y'all. But it's nice, you know, because everybody's standing there and the line, y'all, is long as hell. Line is long as hell, and it's cheap. It's not even high, like three fifty for a taco. It's nice. That restaurant is nice. It used to be another restaurant, but it, that restaurant, it is so cool because everybody is standing up, and it's by you know they got like beer kegs. And, you know, they nice because everybody starts talking. You don't have to know nobody because we're very, very friendly. You know what I'm saying? But these damn migrants don't went crazy. They don't lost their damn mind. They doing the most, y'all. They doing the most. I'm upset. Yes, yes, yes. Because I go out and dine all the time in Williamsburg. Yes. I don't have to go far. Mm -mm. Because we got everything here. You know what I'm saying? You got high prices, low prices. It's not really high prices. Like, you're going to get a good meal. Trust me. You're going to get a good meal. But anyway, y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened first. I had got news that the migrants is targeting our restaurants. So when we go, that's one thing in Williamsburg. Like, by Domino Park, all that area over there, Bedford Avenue, especially Bedford Avenue. It's that Bedford, Bedford Avenue, Bedford Avenue. They got restaurants on White and Kent. They nice too, cause I do go to one down there. You go down the staircase, man. It's just oh my god, they food is so good in there. I, I just went there last week. They food is so good. I'm sorry, I I love that restaurant. I love that restaurant. I go there and get me a couple of bees, and I be ew, and then I be eating. But anyway, y'all, these migrants is targeting our restaurants. Check it out. Let's go to the board. Well, let's go to my good old Pukapuda. This restaurant called Birds of a Feather. I love that restaurant. It's a little pricey, but you know, once in a while, you want to, you know, treat yourself. And I feel I deserve it because I cook all the time. When I say all the time, being I hurt my arm, y'all, my not my arm, you know, my hand got slammed in the um in the elevator. I cannot cut and you know stuff like that so i gotta make the easiest things that i can make you know but you know my boy be helping me you know my man be helping me like to cut the stuff up or whatever but anyway let's get back to this but birds of a feather y'all gotta try it y'all like for real they got some good food in there it's a little pricey but it's it's good you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta be buying everything just buy yourself a nice little plate you and your, you know whoever you with y'all can eat together you know what i'm saying they ain't telling you can't eat together you know what i'm saying but it's nice it is real they got some nice restaurants over there like for real for real i go like i said all the time because i don't feel like cooking you know i want to be waited on i want you know i want to be waited on some time but anyway this is what happened. Let's go to the computer. Let me show you the restaurant first. Because people go in there, and I like the way the, sit the setting is in there. Because everybody is, like, sitting next to each other. It's cute. Because you don't have to know nobody, but when they buy, they, when they order their food and stuff, and you be like, 
what you got? You know what I'm saying? That looks so good. And they be like, you want to taste it? You be like, mm-hmm. Yep. And they be like, let me taste your soup. So everybody be tasting each other food because it's like that. You know what I'm saying? People very, very friendly. This is the rest of all. It's called birds of a feather. Y'all get that together. I'm, yeah, I'm advertising for y'all. Y'all better hook me up. Miss that. <laughs> You see how everybody sit together? You see? It's nice. Everybody in the... Like in the it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's a nice restaurant, y'all. I, 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 I'm, I'm telling y'all. Okay, let me just tell y'all what happened. Moped riding thieves frighten diners at upscale New York restaurants. Mm-hmm. In Williamsburg and Manhattan, they trying this. Robbers has stolen watches worth tens of thousands of dollars before fleeing on a motorbike, as usual. I thought Adam was going to put a stop to that. He ain't putting a stop to nothing. Okay, here we go, y'all. Let's talk. They said, birds of a feather in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, these took just 40 seconds to rob men sitting at the table near the door. Not 10 minutes into the, into the dining. 10 minutes, 10 minutes into the night. Gabby Thomas and his girlfriend, Shirley Yang, found themselves crotching under the table, y'all. They were scared. Mm -hmm. At Birds of a Feather, a sleek Chinese restaurant in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, where a plate of pea shoots cost $21. Just 20 feet away, a man wearing a mask brandished a gun in the crowd dining room and with a henchman grabs two phones and watches from three men at a table near the door. Diners were so scared that they ran in the kitchen yard. They were so scared they ran in the kitchen. That's crazy. I probably would have ran too. You know what I'm saying? Because what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? Uh, these guys brandering guns and all that stuff here just for a damn watch. I know the watch is worth $10,000. Now you got insurance. You got insurance, so it's not the point. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody have no, no tricky finger or something like that there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all. Okay, they all ran into the kitchen. They said chairs toppled all over the place. Glass was shattering every damn way because people was tripping. They was like, yo, what the hell is this? You know, and they said people were screaming. They could hear the screams uh, inside the whole room. They said the perpetrators quickly walked out and fled on a moped, leaving behind a half-empty dining room where a handful of What that mean? They had a handful of bullets. They threw it on the floor. They try to scare you with that? Is that a tactic that they're going to do? I hope they got fingerprints from them. They threw a handful of freaking bullets on the floor. I guess that's, that's, that's going to be their little signature now. The stick-up took... Less than 40 seconds. The robbery in the heart of Williamsburg. <sighs> Once a, bo a bohemian e enslaved in North Brooklyn. Now home to designer clothes, clothes stores, and glassy towers. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful here. It's very nice. Alarm and unsettled both foodies and residents. And... It was just one in a string of similar robberies in and around the Brooklyn and Lower Manhattan. Most in vogue, most in, most in vogue establishments in the past month. In each case, the perpetrators has swiped luxury watches from the diners, according to the police, including, in one episode, a timepiece worth... Oh, my 
God, Jesus. A hundred thousand dollars. A timepiece. Such crime are unusual in the Aflac neighborhood that has been targeted. It's true, y'all. We ain't never heard that. That was crazy. Of the city. Trouble of the city. Troubles into its gritty play spot. Glittery play spot. And they had lit up message message boards receiving the kind of oversized attention and outrage that everyday crime in New York, New York poorest neighborhoods often do not. The thief had propelled persistence um, grooming that the city is slipping into lawlessness. A, a perception that no citizen status had dispelled. The robberies following the same pattern. Two men, one carrying a gun, stealing belongings from restaurant patrons before fleeing. Often on a motorbike or a dirt bike. According to the um, interview, interviewers and surveillance footage, most of the robberies had happened between 6.30 and 9 p.m. That's man early. Oh. Have been target restaurants that attract celebrities and Brooklyn young creative types. See, like, okay, let me just say this. Marlo and Son, and I know they didn't. They got models the sun? An oyster bar just 10 minutes from Birds of a Feather was hit in the early evening on May 31st. A man approached a 38-year-old man and a 40-year-old man outside the restaurant with a gun and demanded their watches, the police said. He took a Rolex and an some type of pendant worth forty thousand dollars collectively before fleeing on a two wheeler vehicle a motorbike which another person with 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 another person they both jumps on a bike we know it's two two to a bike before fleeing on okay authority said about three weeks later a similar heist was reported outside Cabones an Italian restaurant in Greenwich Village with a dress code. Any guest who does not appear efficient will present may be refused entry. That's an upscale restaurant, y'all. And an exclusive reservation list. There's two men robbed. There was two men that robbed a 39-year-old man and of his $100,000 Philippine watch at gunpoint, police said. Well, let me just say this here, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, we ain't finished. So we finished. We ain't finished. The thieves at Birds of a Feather took place three days later. The only one of the recent robberies to occur inside the diner. Then last, last Thursday, last, late last Thursday, the police said that two men riding a moped and carrying a gun stole a watch and a purse from a 29-year-old man and a 32-year-old woman on the corner of Manhattan and Norman Avenue in Greenpoint. What the hell is this? I go there like every day. Like, I go there and get my, my Polish meat and stuff. This crazy. The pair was en route from Twin Lounge, a popular spot nearby to another cocktail bar down the street, according to Greenpoint Greenpointers, a local website. No arrests have been made in any of these robberies. The police the police said the police department do not say whether the four similar thieves was connected. We haven't had crime like this persistent the neighborhood in very long time said Alliston Stone a board member of the North Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce who 
the trend to the area related wealth. Williamsburg and Green Greenpoint in 2020, 2022 was nine was nine hundred wait ninety eight thousand seven hundred and fifty, about twenty seven percent higher than the city's data from the Foreman Center at the New York University shows the crime has put North Brooklyn on high alert according to residents and business owners i i did it did surprise me in the neighborhood like williamsburg said mr thomas who witnessed the birds of a feather the, uh, robbery it's a high it's a higher income more gentrified neighborhood he said local re residents has a expectation that like that kind of stuff doesn't happen but thieves of luxury watches are not a new occurrence in the major city like New York after the, after the pandemic. Police Department reported. Sean Wilson, 28, who witnessed the robbery at Marlowe's and Son. I cannot believe they got Marlowe's and Son. I, I'm really in shock of that. I'm, I'm so in shock of that. Was dining nearby with a, his fiance and said that they had begun eating early and leaving their valuables, including his diamond ring at home. He said, F that. I believe my jury at home, I'ma just go eat, okay? I don't, he said, I don't think that was a thought that I've ever realized. Robberies in New York City so far this year has risen 4.9% from the same period last year, according to the police department. In the 90th precinct, that's my precinct, which includes Marlow and Son and Birds of a Feather robberies are up 11.2%. Yang Wang, who owns Birds of a Feather with her husband, Zhang, said they were take they were taking safety precautions after the thief including upgrading the the restaurant surveillance system and supporting their employees some of some who was injured during the commotion mr wang said they were even considered hiring a security guard they should yes yes armed hey don't get on there security guard he can't do nothing he got flashlight Get on one. That's right. Major food groups which own carbon did not immediately respond to the request for comments. A representative for Marlo and Son declined to comment. I, I, I'm shocked. They probably shocked too. But Andrew, the executive director of New York City Hospitality Allies, said they thought the string of robberies had sparked concern. There was no reason. There was no reason for New Yorkers to stop dining out. That's true, you know. There's more than twenty-five thousand restaurants across New York, New York City, with millions of people eating out all the time without incident. He said people should not be worried about going out to eat. One percent human even at Carbons, a steam, a stream of women. And slanky dresses filters into the candlelight restaurant with their male counterparts. And inside the outdoor dining shed, patrons, patrons, wine glasses over wine tablecloths. Ryan, forty-one, said that as someone who enjoys nice watches, he was concerned when he first heard about the robbery, but hadn't determined that he was deterred, y'all. He said he wearing his watch. He don't give a damn. <laughs> you know, Ryan got it, right? <laughs> he he got Ryan's law, okay? I figure lightning doesn't strike twice. Boy, bye. Don't say that. Don't say that. He said lightning doesn't strike twice. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. This ain't got nothing to do with lightning strike, strike, and strike. These are just, these are just these ninjas out here 
robbing. So you can sit there and bring your watch if you want to. Bro, bring leave your watch at home. You got a phone. You know what time it is. Okay. He said he figured that lightning doesn't strike twice. After reflecting, he added, get insurance on your watches, of course. If you're walking around with a $100,000 watch, $10,000 watch, you better have some damn insurance on that damn watch. Punctuating his advice with an example. Mick Forty in town from Miami heard about the robberies at the diner that night. A fellow customer had warned him to wait inside the restaurant until he ride his until his ride was ready. And after dinner he rushed to a waiting car. Come on, no one should have to be doing no shit like that. That's just ridiculous. No one should have to be like, oh my God, let me have me eat. Am I car there yet? My car there yet? Let me run because of these here migrants tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like this gotta be handled. Adam this is crazy. This is a sick. You can't even go out and have a damn good, uh, something to eat. Bad enough that she was up to goddamn if you give a damn barbecue. Now you want to go and eat and they got these here ninjas around here on their mopeds. Man, listen. I think we're going to have to change our thinking thoughts. Like, for real. Y'all know what I'm saying. Oh, my God. Across the Williamsburg Bridge, Dinah rushed at Birds of a Feather with a full swing. Customers, customers, many clan and linen, slip beer, s sip beers and slush dum um, dumplings, you know, the Chinese dumplings, near the restaurant large glass window. <sighs> this is going on and on. Okay, one more. Steven, a 13-year neighborhood resident who was walking by walking by with friends, said they thought the robbery had received more attention than it deserved because it happened in a pro predominantly white area. Okay. Steve. I don't know where you said you lived here for 13 years. I lived here way more than that. What white area? Williamsburg ain't no white area. What she talking about? Maybe you talking about Manhattan or something like that. Because ain't no damn white area in no... Bro not in Williamsburg. Is he crazy? What you mean white area? Like what? what ain't a no white area in... Bro I'm telling y'all. Come to Williamsburg, there's no white area. There is not. That's a lie. That's a stone-ass lie. You could go to those condos. Let me tell you something. My friend lived in that big-ass condo right there, and she on Section 8. Yes. So, I don't know what Steve's talking about. Ain't no white area in Williamsburg, no. Are you saying the restaurant? That restaurant either. This is a multi-culture area here. So, I don't know what Steve talk about, like, right now. Like, bro. <sighs> they just part of living in the city, he said. Just more likely to get big bit by a person in New York than a shark. Okay, I don't know what Steve's talking about, y'all, but other people that know Williamsburg, Brooklyn, in the way, there's no white area. Williamsburg is not a white area, so I have no clue what Steve is talking about. But anyway, y'all, I wanted to come over and let y'all know. Like, y'all be careful because they doing the most out here. These here migrants from wherever they from, most likely, Venezuela, they, this is what they doing now. And they were showing the one that the guys were sitting outside, Eating. The people were sitting outside eating. I swear to God. He got off his moped and he was walking around. Around them saying, take off your watches. Put up your phones and your money. Out, outside. Outside, y'all. Yo. All right, y'all. Hit that like button and subscribe, y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. Like, but you know what? Don't be afraid, you know, because, you know, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not afraid you know, to go eat, because I'm going to go eat. I don't care. I'm going to go eat. Just know that, you know, just be careful, be cautious, you know, and um, it's not going to stop me from eating or anything like that. But um, I was shocked to hear Marlo and Son 
I I'm shocked. And even birds of a feather, you know, like, I just can't believe it. It'd be so many people in there, and, you know, they're going to have to start giving some license out here. Mm-hmm. They're gonna have to start giving them license to carry because if you if you if you if your if your um customers is walking there with hundred thousand dollar watches and stuff like that, you you gonna have to do that. But anyway, like like I said, hit that like button and subscribe, y'all. I gotta go. All right. Peace and be safe, y'all.